More electric vehicles are making their way onto the roadways, but researchers are quickly learning that the technology out on our roads may not be in sync with an EV. Ten investigates Jen Titus shows us new crash test shows just that. Tesla owner Damon Lister loves everything about his vehicle. Just tap down and you're good to go. He's had it for a year now and doesn't look back. Has all your controls right here. He's not the only one that feels this way. It's why our roads are loaded with more and more electric vehicles. We see a lot of Teslas. We kind of do a little, little wave when we pass each other. It's kind of fun. But it's also why the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility at the University of Nebraska recently conducted a first of its kind crash test of an EV pickup truck. To better understand whether guardrails are prepared for the growing number of EVs. The test involved a Rivian R11 truck and a Tesla Model 3 sedan. The Rivian truck tore through the barriers with little reduction in speed. And the Tesla went right under the guardrail. Researchers noting, up until now, little has been known about how the system will perform in crashes involving EVs, which typically weigh 20 to 50 percent more than gas-powered vehicles with lower centers of gravity. With gas-powered vehicles, that they are safely redirected at these speeds. Safety advocate Steve Eimer says he was in the meeting where researchers discussed the findings with transportation officials, but says the people who were not were the ones representing either of the companies. We have really smart engineers developing guardrails. We have really smart engineers developing these electric vehicles. If we can get them in the same room, we can solve this problem. But if we're not at the same table, we're never going to get there. We reached out to both Tesla and Rivian. Tesla did not respond to our request, but Rivian told us, we don't have a comment, but I did want to point out that the Rivian SUV and Rivian pickup truck received a top safety pick award from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in 2023. That's great, but what about people that are in a Rivian and leave the roadside? The issue is, is that we need Rivian at the table. Wow. Damon was surprised by the video. Wow. And as he continues to drive his EV, hopes tests like these continues so that every sort of vehicle is safe out on the road. Definitely concerning. And now the university tells us that additional crash tests are planned and that afterwards transportation officials will collaborate to determine next steps to accommodate the anticipated changes in America's vehicle fleet. The research also suggests that EVs are involved in runoff road crashes at about the same rate and about the same speeds as gasoline vehicles, and that it is going to be necessary to re-examine the designs of roadside barriers, even beyond the EVs. It's a critical and timely need. Jennifer Titus, 10 Investigates. Grab your phone and scan this QR code. It will take you to 10tampabay.com slash unguarded. That's where you can watch the full crash test videos and all of the stories from the last year about problematically, uh, potentially problematic guardrails. Those are part of the Emmy winning 10 Investigate series, Unguarded.